What's going on everybody? It's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. I apologize for the wind. It's it's springtime around here, so <laughs> you guys know how it is. Hopefully this dead cat microphone sock thing does its job today. But yeah, well, like I said, I hope you guys are having a good evening. I just got off work and just kind of want to make this quick video. Go through some things that we're talking about here and what's going through my head lately. And, and I wanted to show you guys that my chickens eat this, uh, I think they call it a s'more pie. I don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> they should like it, but if you guys uh, haven't done so already, you guys should hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you guys can see all the cool stuff that we do around here. Oh, back up guys, back up. Oh yeah, yep, yep, I bought some goodies. You guys want some? I mean, check this out. I'm not a big sweets person, and this was left from Easter. I feel bad that we didn't eat it, but you know, all the Easter candy going around the house. I know, right? All the Easter candy going around the house and the sugar rushes and stuff. We just decided that we're just gonna let this one pass. And all I know is that it is a s'more pie. And oh my gosh, they're, they are looking at it already. You guys want this, don't you? Lay off me, I'm starving. Put the pie down, sir. Put the pie down. Well, that one got a marshmallow that was stuck on there. Uh, you guys like this stuff, huh? We'll go after it. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Let's see what they do to this pie. Yuck. They love yolky stuff. Bunch of spazzes, you see that? But basically what I wanted to go through is I wanna talk about these three levels of success that you know I kinda of live by. And I always, I always return to this thought process when I'm feeling that I'm about to give up on something or things are getting tough and it, it, it it's a way to reach deep down inside you and keep pushing past the point where you feel like you want to quit or give up on something and wait for this wind to die down it is just spring it's just breezy but you gotta love the warm sun and the green grass and stuff so i'm not going to complain too much about it um so you might be asking well what are these three or sorry did i say three these four what are these four levels of um, mind thought process that you go through when you're trying to achieve something or you're starting something new? And basically what it is, and you guys can relate to this. I'm sure 100% of you guys can relate to this because 90% people, they never get past level three of this thought process. And I challenge you to, uh, uh, to disagree with that because what it is is someone sees something or, or you, you realize there's something you want to do say like a side hustle or some kind of like you want to sell something on the internet you want to get into t-shirts you want to do this or that you want to start a youtube channel for instance um the first is you're, you look at something you watch somebody be like hey you know what i can do that i can do that really well i think i'd be really good at that i think i can make money doing that actually <laughs> so there's that level the second thought process the level of this thought process the second part of it is when you realize that hey this is a this is a little harder than i think and or this is a little harder than i thought and maybe i can't do this maybe maybe uh i'm not going to be very good at this and this is the toxic seed that we put in our heads is these negative thoughts and then there's three three is the point in your thought process when you're trying to achieve something is when you give up you're saying this is way too hard i can't do this i don't you know i don't i can't do this anymore i'm giving up it was way too hard i'm not going to be successful at this i'm just going to give up 90 percent of people go for one to three one to three one to three one to three all the time and they never really truly find that level four and that level four is success you finally you finally succeeded, you push past that three, you push past this, I can't do this, 
I don't have, I'm not smart enough. I'm not quick enough. I'm not, you know, strong enough. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough this. I don't have enough knowledge. All those are just excuses. And you have to push past three because when you get past three, it's glorious. And I've done it a few times in my life where I didn't think I was uh, smart enough. I didn't think I was fast enough. I didn't think I was strong enough. And, you know, I didn't think I had what it took to achieve those levels. And every single time you get past three, the next part of your life, the next challenge, you're even more confident and stronger than you were when you began. So the trick is getting past that three and you're saying to yourself, well, how do you get past that three? Well, let me tell you how it relates to me. Not too long ago, YouTube disgusted me. I saw the ugly side of YouTube and I almost didn't want anything to do with YouTube anymore. And I was really disappointed in uh, who people were and how people treat others and just how quickly somebody can get written off on YouTube, especially when you think that you're, you know, there's camaraderie there and, and friendship and stuff. And, you know, not getting into any details, too many details on something like that. Um, it had me really discouraged on what I was really doing on YouTube because I kind of lost my way for a while and I wasn't enjoying what I was doing anymore. But the whole time, I felt that I was successful. And that level of success, that level four, doesn't have to be measured by riches or monetary value on things or anything that's substantially it just has to be how you feel inside and like how i felt inside is i felt like i was successful i had great friends on youtube supportive channels uh on youtube i had a great community base i still do i believe and my my videos were doing fairly well and I was enjoying it. Most important of all, I was enjoying what I was doing. So in my eyes, I was successful. When all this stuff went down, I stopped enjoying what I was doing. And I found it really hard to make YouTube videos and really hard to keep pushing on. And there is there's one person out there that kept me going and gave me motivation to keep going and, and change the way I was doing things and look at things from a different angle and then really ask myself, make me ask myself, what am I doing? Uh, who is my subscriber base? Who am I making videos for? And so on and so forth, because analytics are really hard. If you guys don't know this, they're really hard to uh, to understand. Uh, some some get it, some don't, but the, the, the analytic part of understanding who your viewers are, that's tough. That's tougher than you think it is, because when you make different videos like I do, you uh, you always, you're always making videos for different kinds of subscribers, and oh, you all better run. And when you make videos for different kinds of subscribers, you have a different kind of view base constantly. So you never, you never really get to find out who your subscribers are. For instance, tractor videos. Tractor videos do really well. But man, do they suck for uh, subscriber uh, building up a subscriber base. But man, they sure do bring a lot of views. And that's all fun and games, getting a lot of views because, you know, some people would say that's, uh, that's how you measure success is how many views you get. But uh, not, not always the case because it doesn't always work that way. I had to realize that views are are great subscribers are great knowing who your who, who your watchers are who your viewers are that's where it's at that is where it's at how you guys doing on this pie you you know what i'm kind of wishing i would have i would have got a piece of that that actually kind of looks kind of good so there's gonna be a time everybody has them you're not gonna like what you're doing anymore Something's gonna happen, you're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna have to reach deep down inside and find out what you're doing, how you're gonna do it, and how you need to be successful doing it. Ah, oh, the lilacs are coming in. I can smell the lilacs. 
Oh, where are they at? I smell them somewhere. They're coming in. I smell them coming in. It's coming time in your life. You're going to have to dig real deep. Find out what you're wanting. You're going to have to push past some hard times. You're going to get discouraged. People are going to make you mad. But the trick is keep going. Keep pushing. Well, there's not much more I want to ramble on in this video, but I just kind of felt like I needed to get that off the chest and let you guys know where I'm at, what I'm doing. Maybe I can help somebody else out. Show them, tell them about the things that go through my head and how I go about my day, per se. So I appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next episode.